For this lesson, you'll need this page, which might be on the back of a texture page you completed earlier. There are three challenges on this page. For the first challenge, you'll need a piece of colored paper and a few pieces of pasta. This pasta is uncooked, dirty, and not safe to eat. As an extra challenge, see if you're careful enough to keep the pieces whole and unbroken. If you don't divide this colored area with any lines at all, there's only one area here. On the page, find where it shows zero lines and write in a one. That's the maximum number of areas possible if you don't add any lines. If you place one pasta line on the colored paper, you see here there are now two areas. Is there any way to make more than two areas with just one line? Turn the pasta in different ways to explore this idea. If you agree, there's no way to make more than two areas dividing the space with one line, write a two in this box. Now things are going to get more complex with more lines. Here you can see that two lines can make three areas. Is that the maximum number? Is there any way that two lines could create more than three areas? If you agree that three is the maximum, write three. If there's a way to make more than three areas, write the maximum number that you found in the box. You can ask other groups for their ideas if you like. Continue this way, adding lines and looking for the maximum number of areas that you can create. It would be great if this was the pattern, but is it this simple? Write in the number your entire group agrees is the maximum number of areas using zero to six lines. Are you seeing any patterns yet? If you are noticing a pattern, maybe your team could predict the maximum number of areas if you were allowed 100 lines. This is an extra puzzle for your group should you decide to accept the challenge. Communicate with your team and make sure everyone agrees on these answers based on the designs you made with the pasta and your observations. Anyone in the group should be prepared to build the pasta lines to confirm your team's answer is correct. After your team agrees on these seven answers, it's time to try uh, artistic, not mathematical exploration of the lines. Here we aren't maximizing areas, but rather creating artistically interesting or visually beautiful designs. In this example, you can see five lines are drawn. Three are parallel to each other, sloping upward, and the two others are parallel to each other, sloping downward. These are intersecting lines, but they don't intersect at right angles. Could you create a more interesting or more beautiful pattern than this? Share your favorite visual creations with your team and keep track of everyone's best ideas because the third challenge at the bottom of the page is where your team will all agree on one design that uses no more than six lines to later make as a watercolor painting. Everyone in your team should have a matching design here in order to proceed to the painting steps that will happen later. Here's a quick review of the three challenges. First, your team will work together to complete this table of maximum areas created with zero to six lines. Second, you will work individually on creating artistic or interesting designs with different numbers of lines. You don't need to maximize areas here. And then third, you will compare the designs everyone in the team made and agree on one team design. Everyone on your team will draw the same design on their paper to show they all agree. What are you noticing here? Would this team be allowed to create their watercolor painting? Are they in agreement? 
So here are the three challenges. Start now with the first challenge of maximizing areas with pasta lines.